my work specifically focuses on um, trying to document the human rights abuses by uh, the government in Sudan. I work with um, a youth-based movement in Sudan um, that was founded in 2009, and it's um, a non-violent resistance movement. The movement, Grifna's movement, um, grassroots efforts on the ground. Um, we try to uh, use social media, the internet, video to reach out to a larger um, audience, especially that in Sudan there's a huge problem of access to information of what's happening inside the country. The most recent um, protest called Sudan Revolts have made us more of a, of a movement that is under attack because our popularity on the ground was huge and we were able to mobilize uh, and call for a national protest that received a lot of um, react, positive reaction from, from the ground and that made the um, national security um, and the government of Sudan more aggressive vis-a-vis -vis our members. Um, they got the longest detentions, the harshest treatment in prisons, uh, so we feel that some sort of spotlight would be a message to the government that uh, the world is watching and that they cannot get away with, with abuses and violations. My name is Jean-Baptiste and I work on Sudan for Amnesty International. The human rights situation in Sudan is incredibly difficult for peaceful activists, with many being arrested, detained and tortured by security forces. The Sudanese authorities are sensitive to public opinion and international outcry. So your participation in the letter writing marathon can really make a difference by reducing the risks of torture and ill treatment and ensuring the quick release of those still detained. Please take the time to help the young activists of Kirifna. <laughs>